and most of us are fans of this reputation, but few of us are aware that chemistry makes part of sport. In fact, sports is one of the activities that have benefited most from the development of chemistry. It takes a lot of years for an athlete to reach his Olympic dream, whatever the sport is. Yeah, chemistry helps the athlete to realize his dream, to improve new things such as accommodation, equipment, stadium and kit. This was thanks to developments in chemistry. And chemists who work hard to create new materials that are stronger, lighter and more resilient. where this comes from? It all goes down to chemistry. The food that we eat contains stored and chemical energy. The large molecules are broken down into simpler ones by a series of chemical reactions that takes place in our digestive system. This glucose is transported to the muscles where it reacts with, with oxygen coming from the lungs, producing carbon dioxide, water and energy. This energy is stored in a molecule called ATP. When a phosphate group is broken down, energy is released in the form of heat. Such heat is used to drive various chemical and mechanical activities. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. Yeah, I like to move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. Yeah, I like to move it. Chemistry has allowed us to benefit from the advantages of modern sports today. Sports clothing has come a long way from the cotton vests and shorts. The most familiar and important fibers used in sports clothing is Lyra, which was invented more than 50 years ago. This is a polymer. A polymer is a long organic molecule made up of smaller molecules called monomers. These form in chains containing hundreds and thousands of monomers. You know, move it nice and sweet and sassy, alright? These materials are used in different sports clothing, from swimming costumes to cycling kits, where close fit is required rather than a loose one, Ouch! since its elasticity enhances both comfort and fabric performance. Physically fit, physically, physically, physically fit woman! Exercising is easily become dehydrated, so much water is lost in sweat. Because it dominates water that's lost, sweat contains salts and other essential chemicals. And then, of course, the energy that's being burnt up needs to be replaced. The sports zinc contains these three important components water, electrolytes, and carbohydrates. Water on its own isn't enough, it quenches the thirst too quickly, and there is a danger that the athletes remain dehydrated. Even if they do drink plain and sufficient water, there is a chance that the level of salt in their blood will fall to dangerous levels. Electrolytes, including sodium and potassium ions, replace those lost in sweat. Carbohydrates are also important as they replace the lost fuel burned by the muscles. Well, there will never be an alternative for hard work and sheer dedication. Chemistry can add value to make sport happen. And this was just a small glimpse of the whole story of how chemistry is used in sports. We hope this video shows that without chemistry, sports would not exist. And that when they come together, they produce a... Winning team!